Hey guys, welcome back to Jess and Reads Romance. I'm Jess and today I have a very special video. It's like a bonus video because I just got in the Once Upon a Book box Bridgerton special edition box and I cannot be more excited to open up these books. I've been waiting for these special edition hardcovers for like ever. I think The Duke and I is personally signed by Julia Quinn. It's going to be an exciting time. But before we jump into the unboxing, the unveiling of the beautiful books, I wanted to give a shout out to today's video sponsor, Vaunt. A representative from Vaunt reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try their clip-on reading light, which I definitely said yes because I've been getting more and more paperbacks and I love them so much. But of course with that comes a dilemma of a nighttime reading and this light is a lifesaver. It has three different settings which you can easily cycle through with just a tap of the button and I will demonstrate in low light so that you can actually see this better. It's super easy to use. I love the clip on feature. You can easily attach it to your headboard and it has amazing grips at the base. You can also use this light for crafting. If you're into crafting this is a great light to have on hand if you want to get up close and personal, want to see a little bit more fine details. This is amazing. Font was also kind enough to send me an extra clip on light so if you're interested interested in winning this, I have one to give away. Just leave a comment down below with a little light bulb emoji and I'll be picking a winner in a week's time. I'll also be including a special discount code if you're interested in any of Vaughn's other products on Amazon. They have so many different products in their catalog and they also have some really cute fairy lights that I personally am eyeing because I just feel like I need that. I mean, who doesn't need fairy lights? So thank you so much to Vaughn for sponsoring this video and let's get to the unboxing. All right, let's get to the goods because oh my goodness, this box is so hefty and it's so pretty so this was packaged in like a little bag and this is something a little extra i have no idea what's in this besides the hard covers i know that they said that they were going to have some other bridgerton related items but um i definitely have to show off this beautiful packaging because like look at that look at that it's gorgeous i love this box it's so freaking pretty but um i'm ready to see what the books look like okay so first opening let's see what we got oh i see lady whistle down same Oh, oh my gosh, what is this? Okay, so first up we have this really cute a tassel bookmark with Once Upon a Book Boxes logo on there and it does say the Bridgerton Box Volume 1 because in case you didn't know, this is only one of the boxes that they will be shipping out in future, they will have the next few books because this box only contains the first three books in Julia Quinn's Bridgerton series. And you know, I'm gonna have to have the complete collection, so I will be getting the future boxes as well. And then of course, we have the famous phrase, I burn for you in this card. And actually, this is a phrase that Julia Quinn often features in her Bridgerton book. So multiple characters have said, I burn for you to their heroines, and it is absolutely it's amazing, I love it. I also have a shirt with this on it. So it's one of my favorite phrases. Now this says Lady Whistledown Society Papers. I freaking love it. It's like a real new sheet from the movie and it's really cute. Oh my gosh, I freaking love this. This is like the perfect way to introduce this box and I wish that I can put on a posh British accent but I'm gonna totally butcher that because I'm on camera. So dearest reader, at long last, the event of the season has finally arrived. It is this author's greatest pleasure to introduce the entire ton the stunning and highly anticipated Bridgerton box by Once Upon a Book Club. Within this box, you'll find three gifts for each of the first three novels in the Bridgerton series, The Duke and I, which features Daphne Bridgerton, Anthony Bridgerton, and his novel, The Viscount Who Loved Me, and the oft-forgot second eldest Bridgerton brother, Benedict, and his story in An Offer from a Gentleman. That's funny because Benedict does feel like he's the forgotten child, the one that everyone mistakes him for Anthony or Colin. They're like, oh yeah, you're the middle one, don't the bee? <laughs> so that's really funny. Okay, and it says, I must caution you, do not not let your excitement overtake your senses. While these gifts may be beckoned to you, this author must advise you to not unwrap these packages until you arrive at the corresponding page. So it's like, is it a page within the book? Does it correspond to something in the book? This is so cool. Don't worry for this author has included reminders of the exact moment the gifts may be opened, which you'll find inside each book. That's amazing. I welcome you to pour some tea and find the most secluded reading nook so that you will not be interrupted as you embark on these romantic journeys along with the entire Bridgerton family. This author cannot wait to share all the details of the Bridgertons with you. So cozy up dear reader, keep plenty of nourishment close and let us start from the beginning. This is like an experience, this, this is amazing. There's even a family tree at the very top right here of all of the Bridgertons and I think their date of birth and their freaking spouses. Oh, this is amazing, I love that. So I did notice that this one says page 152 and it's from an offer from a gentleman. So that is so cool, so cool. So let's take a look at the actual books first. I see the Duke and I, oh gosh, it's so pretty. 
<sighs> the Duke and I, the first one, Simon and Daphne, our beloved Bridgertons from the Netflix series. This is their book. And if you think that the Netflix show was amazing and you haven't read the books yet, you should totally check out The Duke and I and the rest of the books in the series because season two will be following Anthony's story and it's my personal favorite. So let's take a closer look. I love the image of Simon and Daphne off in a secluded spot. This is honestly so beautiful. I love, I love this so much. The inside's so pretty. And it is signed by Julia Quinn. So the first book was advertised as being signed for this particular book box. And that's very exciting. My condolences go to her and her family because she recently just lost her father and her sister in the same car crash. And it was absolutely so heartbreaking to read about. I honestly can't even imagine what she's going through. Oh, I love this one. One book down. Now for my personal favorite, The Viscount Who Loved Me, which is Anthony and Kate's book. I'm so excited to see season two. The antics, the shenanigans that Anthony and Kate get up to, I can't wait to see it on the big screen or the Netflix screen, which it's the big screen now. But what I most love about this special edition for The Viscount Who Loved Me is Newton. So you can observe Newton right here walking next to Kate and he is almost as big of a character in The Viscount Who Loved Me as Anthony and Kate are. I absolutely love Newton and I flipped out whenever it was announced that he was for sure going to be included in season two. So I can't wait to see his little corgi butt getting up to all kind of mischief because that's what he does. And finally, an offer from a gentleman which is a Cinderella retelling guys and oh gosh I honestly didn't even look too close at the artwork whenever it was announced but this is beautiful look at that it looks very fairy tale I love it if you're not familiar with Benedict's story he does meet his heroine at a masquerade ball and he looks for her for years and it's just amazing and I love this book I feel like this is an underrated book or not everybody likes this, but I absolutely love it. It was one of my favorite Cinderella retellings and I'm so happy to have this one. And the colors just look so amazing together. Like, look at that oh, pastel gorgeousness. Okay, let's check out and see what all these mysterious gifts are about. Okay, so let's start with the Duke and I, and this is the first one, the first package. It's page 120. So let's flip to the corresponding page and see if we can figure it out before we open it. Ah, it says open your so I'm supposed to be reading this right now. Oh, this is the scene where Simon brings Daphne and Violet, Daphne's mother, flowers. I honestly love how it corresponds to the scenes in the books. Look how cute. I have no idea what this is made out of. Oh, and the little ribbon tying it together. I'm pretty sure that it has a quote from Violet. I love it. These are so freaking cute. The next one is this cute little ring box maybe and it says page 244. This is the moment whenever Simon gives Daphne her ring. This is too fun honestly. I'm having too much fun. A cute little ring that's included. Can we see? Cute little ring. I love it. I love it so much. And then page 402 which is the very end. Oh so this is a scene with Lady Whistledown. Wonder what this could be. Oh, look how beautiful. I love the look of this quill. Look how cool this is. And it actually comes with a bunch of different size nibs that you can change out. This is amazing. I love this so much. Now for the Viscount who loved me. This little pouch, the hefty one says page 140. So let's flip to that page. <gasps> I love this scene. Did I scare you all? I'm sorry. I love this scene so much. <laughs> if this is not in the Netflix series, I might cry. There's so many scenes in The Viscount who love me. I'm like, it's required. You have to adapt this. You have to adapt this. So this is the scene where Kate gets caught under the desk and Anthony throws a key at her so that she can exit the library, his study. Oh my goodness, I love it. It's a key. I love it. This is the key that he throws at her. It sounds so unromantic, but the way that they fight with each other is the highlight of the Viscount Who Loved Me. What an immersive experience. Okay, and this box says page 279. Oh my God, these are like some of my favorite scenes. I love this. This is whenever Anthony comes back home and he is plotting on how to pull Kate over the table when there's like a whole tea service in the way. Here it is it up. Oh, is this a teacup? Ollie's like looking at me like I'm an absolute crazy person. So this is the tea and saucer set. And it actually has a quote right here. 
It says, Ah, gentle reader, this author is pleased to report, which is a classic line from Lady Whistledown. This is the best. And the final gift is from page 342. Oh no, wait, this is the scene. I must have not read the other scene. Got a little too excited because I saw T, but this is actually the scene where Anthony is conspiring to pull Kate over the tea set without ruining everything. So maybe a teaspoon? Oh no, it's breakfast tea. This is so perfect. This is black tea. And then we have herbal tea. It says golden turmeric chai. And then ginger peach green tea. I love this. Guess who's having tea after this? And finally, the gifts correspond with an offer from a gentleman. The first one is actually the one that came outside of the box and it's page 152. Oh, this is when Sophie discovers Benedict's sketchbook. I actually love this scene. I feel like I need to do a reread of an offer from a gentleman pretty soon. I've been trying to open this box and I forgot to check the size and see if that there was a sticker holding it in place and there was. Okay, finally. Oh, look how gorgeous. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. This is a notebook, a journal. <gasps> what is this? Oh my God. I'm sorry, give me a moment. It's just one of my favorite scenes in the Viscount who love me. It is the mallet of death scene. It is the pal mal scene. This is another scene that if it's not in the Netflix show, I'll be so furious because this is one of the greatest scenes. You can see Anthony watching Kate. Oh, and there's another sketch of Sophie. Look how beautiful. This is like the sketch that she saw of herself, kind of. You can see her little Cinderella self going down the stairs trying to escape benedict and then the rest of the pages are blank i love this so much i'm probably gonna frame those sketches because they're just so freaking cute the next one is 258 this is from a scene where sophie's trying to ignore benedict and he's like um you re you're reading that book upside down so what could this be feels like a book it feels like a book is this a bonus book romancing Mr. Bridgerton. Are you kidding me? This is not included in the description. We were only supposed to get three books. Oh my God. I'm just, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Just like look at this beautiful thing. Look at this beautiful thing. I'm surprised. Thank you. Thank you for this extra book. This is such a great surprise. Okay. One final one and it's 344, page 344 of an offer from a gentleman. I don't want to say this scene because it's kind of a spoiler scene. But, is it a blindfold? Is it a scarf? I think it's a scarf. They have this little bundle right here. So in the scene, Sophie has a scarf tied around her face. So she can't see, oh yeah. Oh, it feels so beautiful and luxurious. Kind of, oh, like look at that. Oh, this is like super soft and super beautiful. I love it. What a great gift. And then the final thing that was included in this box is actually a pair of gloves. On the back of Lady Whistledown's announcement about the book box, you will see that it says Bridgerton Glove Story Challenge. It says use everyday items to recreate this photo, get creative, think toilet paper, food, old clothing. Be sure to include one of the Bridgerton books along with your pair of gloves and tag us with a hashtag. So like this photo as an example. I love that. That is such a creative idea. Well guys, I'm absolutely speechless. I mean, having these special editions for special edition books right now. It's just giving me life. And it's also getting me so pumped up for season two of Bridgerton. I hope it's everything I imagine it to be. I do have a lot more expectations for season two than I did for season one. I have a lot more attachment to the Viscount who loved me. So I hope that when the showrunners take creative license that I won't be too upset because you know they're, they're gonna do it. But honestly, experiencing it with everybody just makes it so much fun. So I am looking forward to that experience again, like watching it for the first time, everyone on their stories freaking out about stuff. And yeah, I can't wait. Don't forget to leave a comment down below if you want to win the Vaunt Clip On Light. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe to get notified on any future video that I do. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, life's better with a little ATA. Bye guys.